Hello. In this video I will tell you how to install and use Steam Desktop Authenticator. SDA is a program that is designed so that you can use Steam Guard Mobile on PC. This is very convenient if you use multiple Steam accounts. In addition, it is possible to use a mobile authenticator on a mobile phone and on a computer at the same time. If you use Windows 7 before installing the program, make sure you have the .NET Framework installed. You can download this component from the official Microsoft website. You can find the download link in the description. Now you can download Steam Desktop Authenticator. For this visit the releases page on GitHub and download the latest zip archive. No need to download source code files, we don't need it. Note that recently there have been fake versions of SDA floating around that will steal your Steam account. Never download SDA from any place other than this GitHub repo. After downloading, unzip the archive to any folder on your computer. For convenience, create a shortcut on the desktop of the startup executable file. OK, now you can run the program. When you first start it will install the necessary components. It will take some time. After starting, the following window will open. Here you choose what interests you. I have an account on which the mobile authenticator is not connected, so I will click on the third button, this is my first launch and I want to log in to Steam. OK, the main program interface has opened. Now we need to link the mobile number to the Steam account. To do this, go to the account details page. Here we click add a phone number. Then we enter the phone number and confirm the action by mail, and also enter the code from SMS. Next, go to the program interface. Click on set up new account button. In the window that appears, enter the username and password for your Steam account. Next you can enter the encryption key, for example, if you use this program on a dedicated server or not on your computer. If you don't want to set this password just click accept. Now you must remember and write this recovery code. This code cannot be given to anyone, because with it you can restore access to your account. An SMS with a code will come to your mobile phone. This code must be entered here. Next, for verification, you must enter the previously recorded recovery code. After that, a mobile authenticator will be connected to your account. OK, the basic setup has been made. You can add as many accounts as you want. The login token is displayed here. If you need to log in, copy it by clicking on this button. If you need to confirm an exchange offer or sale of an item from inventory worth more than $1, you need to open a confirmation window. If the confirmation window doesn't open, you need to update your account session as follows. The program allows you to enable automatic confirmation market transactions and trades. To do this click File, Settings, and select All checkbox here. When we configured the mobile authenticator, a file with MA file extension was created on our computer. This file contains information about this account and authentication. It can be used to export to other computers. In order to find this file you need to go to the SDA folder, MA files. There will be MA files for all installed accounts. This is really useful, since you do not need to configure a mobile authenticator every time. You can also import a mobile authenticator from your Android phone. First you need to download the SDK platform tools for Windows from this page. Extract entire contents of the platform tools folder into your SDA folder. You should now have adb.exe in the same folder as Steam Desktop Authenticator.exe. Plug in your Android device with a USB cable, and make sure drivers are installed. Go to the settings on your device, then click System, Developer Options. Next enable Developer Mode and enable USB Debugging. Once your device is detected, 
it will start checking and extracting. In fact, this function does not work correctly. Sometimes it works, and sometimes not. In this video, I talked about how to install an Steam Desktop Authenticator, configure a mobile authenticator on a PC, and also about the main features of the SDA. Thank you for watching.